YouTube, what up? It's your man 21, truck driver to the stars, aka the flyest truck driver on YouTube, aka the only cat that wears true religion, and aka just a cool motherfucker. What are we talking about today? 21 is on his way to St. Louis, Missouri. Stay tuned to the video. Sorry, it's DJ. What up guys, as you can see, I'm in a coupe. Yes, I'm still in Las Vegas and I am on my way to St. Louis, Missouri. I'm going to the Lou for the 4th of July. I'm shooting some crazy fireworks. I'm gonna see my family and hang out with them and everything's gonna be all good. So, stay tuned to the video, watch the entire video, and I'm gonna record on my way out of Vegas and on my way through the great states of the states to St. Louis, Missouri. All right, I will see y'all in a minute. I gotta run by Sally's. You're like, wait, you going to Sally's? What the hell you getting from Sally's? I can't even tell you why I'm going to Sally's, but I gotta run by Sally's. I will see y'all in a little bit. Look at that. I gotta go to Sally's. See that Sally's, is that gonna focus? That's where I gotta go to. Now you're probably wondering, why in the hell you gotta go to Sally's? I can't tell you champ, just know I need to go pick up something or someone, that's all I can tell you. But I gotta go to Sally's, so I have to mess with y'all later. Okay, the trip to Sally's done. What did I go to Sally's for? I needed this. This is how I get such great shades, or well, besides using my uh, safety razor, but besides the safety razor, I use this in between shades and it is amazing. So that's done. Now I can get up out of Las Vegas. I'm on a great road trip across this great country of ours. This is amazing. Oh, I'm having so much fun. The road trip just started and this is awesome, man. I'm looking good, I'm smelling good. No, I'm looking good, I'm smelling great. No, I'm looking great, I'm smelling good. I don't know which one comes first, but this is super cool, man. It's so, people say you drive for a living, why you wanna do a road trip in your car? And I'm like, cause it's different. I drive a big rig. I'm doing a road trip inside of a freaking coupe, an SS with peanut butter interior. See that SS on the seat? So. This is cool, I'm chilling. Check out the mountains. Look at those mountains. Oh my goodness. Those mountains look freaking awesome, man. Look at that. Only out west. This is why I would never move from the west coast. Cause you get to see just pretty ass mountains. Oh man, I'm loving it. All right, so I'm still rolling. I'm dugging it out, man. I am just, um, gonna do this straight through that's it I'm just gonna do this straight through uh, I'm out here in Albuquerque no I'm in New Mexico it's raining a little bit I'm trying to be cool because so I did a road trip in the SS out to Charlotte North Carolina um, like a year ago right and I was going through Oklahoma I was up on the turnpike on 44 and my car did not not do well on the wet rolls it it was horrible so it's raining it's not like raining bad but it's raining and as we know the coupe is a rear, a rear wheel drive car try saying that about 16 times fast so i'm trying to be cool and not go too fast because it felt like I was going to lose control of my car uh, out there in Oklahoma on the turnpike. So I'm trying to be cool, but so far it's handling well. So, you know, should be okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm just dugging it out, man. I'm just dugging it out, just rolling still, uh, just doing my thing. I think tonight I'm going to get a hotel room and chill in the hotel and then get up tomorrow morning 
and take this thing on there because I can't check into my hotel in St. Louis until what, like three o'clock? What's up? What's up? Check in at a hotel like three or something like that. So, yeah, you know, just slowly trying to make this thing work. So, yeah, man, in New Mexico, trying to get on through it. It's raining. As you can see, it's gray outside. Doesn't look like anything. But, nah, we'll make it work. So, I will come back when I get somewhere good. And by somewhere good, I mean nowhere at all. Alright? It's your man 21. And I'll see y'all for something good. Hey, check this out. I'm outside of Amarillo. Check out the sky. How cool is that? That's pretty dope. I like it. Wow, look at the sky. Mother Nature's amazing. So, I made it up here to Tulsa, Oklahoma, guys. So, here's the deal. I had to stop. Because I was like, yo, I need to get real sleep. So I just came to Tulsa. I'm going to chill here for the night. And then I'm going to roll out in the morning and make my way over to St. Louis and check into my other hotel. Um, so one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about was, okay, so this is crazy, guys. And I need y'all to follow me on this one, right? I was at the truck stop. And it was a, it was a, it was a female driver at the truck stop. Nice looking girl, great shape, okay? But she had on these little, I guess like yoga pants or they were more like tights. They were kind of see-through. You can see her thong. She had on a halter top. And she was complaining that uh, two drivers outside tried to holler at her. And she was like upset, like, you know, these guys, they just they just want to talk to every, every woman out here, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's odd because you're dressed the way you're dressed. Now, I know what a lot, I know what a lot of the women are gonna say. It doesn't matter how she's dressed. You guys should respect us. And no one's disrespecting you because they're trying to talk to you. You have to understand if you work in a male-dominated industry and then you dress like a little thotty, and then someone's trying to talk to you, how do you turn around and then get mad at a guy for trying to talk to you? You have to understand you work in this industry where most of these guys don't even get any tail at all, right? A lot of drivers aren't fly like me. So these guys aren't getting any tail. So it's one of those things where if you're going to dress, I mean, like she was dressed all kind of crazy, guys. Like I saw her thongs, you know, little halter top, nipples hard, like you're inviting unwanted attention and if a guy's trying to talk to you why are you complaining like i'm telling you guys listen stop talking to these women out here that drive trucks these girls are looking for attention and then when they get attention they complain about the attention that they're getting so guys we just have to stop don't flirt with these girls. Don't give these girls no attention it's just like a lot of the female drivers here on youtube they dress all provocative to show their body because they're not talking about anything, right? They're not talking about anything. They're not entertaining, but they understand I work in a male dominated industry. If I dress like this, all of these truck driver guys will subscribe to my channel. Even if I am not talking about anything, even if I'm boring, even if I'm goofy, even if I'm silly. I saw one girl on YouTube. She's a light skinned girl with locks and she doesn't show any, any of her body parts. And she's very informative about like new people coming out here and things like that. She's not on her twerking. She's not on her with her boobs out. Her booty cheeks isn't hanging out. She's 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 a nice looking girl, but she understands like okay yeah I'm cute, but I don't have to like show all my body parts to get the attention that I'm looking to get because I guess she ain't looking for that type of attention. But guys, I want all of my brother truckers. I want all of the guys out here to stop giving attention to these female drivers at the truck stops. Don't give these motherfuckers any attention because once we stop giving them attention, they're going to then stop just 
dressing like they're thirsty. They call us thirsty, but then the way they dress is like, wait, am I thirsty or are you thirsty? You even want to look like you're thirsty for the attention. It is crazy. And then they try to like dog the drivers like, these dudes always trying to holler at us. It's like, but look at what you look like. You look like a little thotty. So they're going to try to holler thinking that you something that they can just run up in real quick. So um, don't even give these girls any attention. Because when you give them attention, which is what they're asking for, then they complain about it. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you shouldn't try to approach them because of the way they're dressed. Well, men are visual people. So if you see a girl, her booty's shaking, you see her thong, she turn around, you see her big old nipples, her boobs are, are bulging out of her top, of course a man's going to try to talk to her. That's just who we are as human beings. If I'm at the truck stop, I got on some, some pants with no underwear and you see my whole print, then a woman's going to try to talk to me. It's happened before. <laughs> like I didn't get upset about it. I understood what I did. I came out with no underwear, my print showing through my pants, and she tried to holler. Why would I be upset about that? I understand what I'm doing. Like, I don't know, man. It, it's it's like women, women they, they go out of their way to get attention. Then when they get the attention, they complain about the attention. You wear purple and blue and yellow hair. Then when someone say, oh, wow, look at your hair. And it's like, why are you looking at my hair? You shouldn't be paying attention to my hair. And it's like, because you look like a fucking clown. You look like from the Ringling Brothers Circus. So it, it, it's just silly, man. So if we don't get these women any attention... Then we don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to worry about them, anyone talking shit about us, saying we're thirsty and all this shit. Let them look stupid out there. All right, we 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 have to stop being so so. I don't know, like I mean, cause I'm guilty of it. I see girls, but I don't even approach these chicks out here. Like I won't talk to female drivers out here because I already know that, especially. You know, let's say if somebody be like, oh, I want to expose this 21 guy, and like he tried to holler at me, so. I don't even try to holler at these girls. It's just pointless. Like, it is pointless. And besides, let's be honest, guys. A lot of these girls aren't really cute at all. They have a body, so it makes them appear to be cute. But a lot of them aren't cute. Now, I know some of the female drivers are looking at my video, and they're like, you're not cute. It's fine. I don't have to be cute. You understand? I, I'm, I'm a male. I don't have to be the cute one, and I'm in my relationship. You need to be cute. Not me, dear. That's the difference. And if you learn that, you may will do better with men if you learn who need to be the cute, sexy one in the relationship. Because last time I checked, men aren't supposed to be cute and sexy in the relationship. That's your job, dear. Okay? So, just wanted to jump on here, guys. I'm over here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, having all kinds of fun. Um, I'm going to chill here. Uh, in a second, well, I'm going to edit this video and drop this video tonight. So if y'all are still up, you'll see this video tonight. If not, then when you're waking up tomorrow, you'll see this video. We're going to get this edited and mixed down. Jump in the shower. I'm going to chill. Uh, watch some YouTube videos. And actually, there's an ice cream joint that way. I'm going to go to this ice cream joint. I'm going to see what kind of ice cream they have. You know, black people, dairy don't do well with black people and Hispanic people. But I don't even care. I'm going to give me some ice cream. I'm going to come lay up in my bed, get my feet rubbed, and eat me some ice cream. You're like, wait, who he got in the room with him? Nobody. Then you're like, well, wait, how you going to get his feet rubbed? I don't know. Maybe the girl from the ice cream parlor be like, damn, you cute. <laughs> I'll rub your feet. <laughs> oh, man, I'm such a goofy guy. So, until next time, guys, it's your man, 21, truck driver to the stars, a.k.a. the flyest truck driver on YouTube, AKA I'm on a bomb ass road trip to St. Louis, Missouri. AKA I'm finna shoot a shit ton of fireworks for the fourth. Oh yeah, and I will be recording that on my GoPro. And AKA just a cool motherfucker. I will holla at y'all on the next one. Peace.